photosynthesis welcome to the study of the photosynthesis in this video class i would like to discuss much more about the photosynthesis what is the prerequisite for the study of the photosynthesis so photosynthesis and uh, the respiration very important uh, biological reactions one is the endergonic or endothermic reaction another one is exothermic reaction so here energy rich uh, chemical compounds namely atp and nadp and uh, such a different uh, energy rich energy containing commonly termed as energy currencies will be formed in order to understand the energy changes the formation of the atp molecules in different uh, the biological reactions or a biochemical reactions the prerequisite is that the bioenergetics bioenergetics bio energetics bioenergetics bio means what living organisms energetics so this particular bioenergetics deals with the study of the energy transduction within the biological system energy transduction uh, within the biological reactions uh, during a biological reactions within the biological system energy transduction in other words it can be termed as the energy changes how much amount of energy is it is utilized for the photosynthesis and how many number of atp molecules are formed and uh, later on how these atp molecules are used up for the uh, assimilation of the carbon dioxide like that just i am uh, um, uh, that is giving an idea energy transduction which occur within the living organisms within the living cells of our plants and other animals uh, energy energy can be defined as it is a capacity to do a work it is a capacity of the system to do a work energy a kinetic energy is different potential energy is different radiant energy is different out of the potential energy kinetic energy a radiant energy it is very important the radiant energy that it comes from the sun uh, from the outer space play very important role in the process of the photosynthesis photosynthesis is uh, one of the biological process occur within the plant cell and uh, also occur in some organisms the photosynthetic uh, bacteria photosynthetic organi- uh, photosynthetic uh, microscopic uh, the bacteria but the photosynthesis plant photosynthesis is different to that of the bacterial photosynthesis i shall discuss it uh, later on bioenergetics uh, it deals with the study of the energy transduction means what so the solar radiant energy which reach the surface of the earth which also reach the surface of the plant body the terrestrial plants or any other uh, the water plants 
or aquatic plants. It is this energy which is utilized for the photosynthesis. Solar radiant energy actually contain different uh, the light rays having a different wavelengths. Take for example, suppose that the sun, sun, it gives, it reflects the solar radiant energy. This radiant energy actually contain cosmic rays, cosmic rays are different, ultra violet light rays, UV light rays are different, cosmic rays, ultraviolet light rays, X rays, gamma rays, beta rays like that, X rays, then visible sunlight, visible light rays, visible light rays, infrared, infra red light rays and radio 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 waves radio rays like that the solar radiant energy consists of different uh, the waves different uh, rays having a different wavelengths the wavelength of the cosmic rays is different the wavelength of the ultraviolet light rays is different like that each and every different radiations which comes from the sun they exhibit a different of their own wavelengths some exhibit a, uh, a small wavelength some light rays they exhibit a long uh, wavelengths uh, our plants our plants utilize they undergo photosynthesis under or in presence of the visible light rays the visible light rays visible light rays it was concluded that the plant physiologist conducted number of experiments based on the experimental results they have, they have con concluded that plants utilize the a particular take for example a blue colored or a red colored a indigo colored or a violet colored light rays for the photosynthesis like that the photosynthesis the mechanism or the mechanism of the understanding of the photosynthesis have got a very long history number of plant physiologists they have worked upon the photosynthesis and uh, uh, they have successfully demonstrated to the world that photosynthesis occur in this way photosynthesis occur in this way within the plant cell within the bacterial cell like that today we study the photosynthesis that it is one of the endergonic reaction it is one of the uh, reduction reaction uh, it is one of the bio biological reaction so photosynthesis uh, whatever the um, whatever the uh, mechanism of the photosynthesis uh, several uh, hundreds of uh, scientists they have worked upon the different uh, the steps of the photosynthesis of course the photosynthesis is not a single uh, and a simple the quick biological reaction which occur inside the uh, living plant cell or any other bacterial cell it is a very long process and a lengthy process it occurs continuously during a daytime and as well as at night whatever the reactions that occur during a daytime when the light is available to them can be termed as the light reactions of the photosynthesis and whatever the reactions reactions that are independent to the sunlight that may occur during a, a dark period of the uh, day can also be termed as a uh, dark reactions of the uh, photosynthesis like that the for the photosynthesis they utilize uh, different colored light rays 
in order to uh, in order to understand which colored light rays uh, are responsible for the photosynthesis uh, what color light rays are absorbed by the uh, plants uh, to con for the confirmation they have conducted an experiment take for example put a prism to this prism you have to pass in pass in the visible light rays visible light rays a beam of uh, visible light rays when you will pass in when you will pass in into the prism a beam of uh, visible light rays it reflects seven different colored the light rays seven different colored the light rays in the form of the vib gyar vib gyar this can be termed as the spectrum this can be termed as the spectrum this means that from this experiment we can uh, we can conclude or we can understand that ordinary visible light rays of a sun actually consists of seven different colored light rays uh violet colored light rays having a particular wavelength the indigo colored blue colored green colored yellow colored orange colored and uh, the red colored light rays having a different wavelength question arises in our mind that out of seven different colored light rays which are present in this uh, uh, the visible light rays ordinary the visible light or a light rays of the sun which colored light rays are uh, responsible for the photosynthesis which colored light rays are absorbed by the plants which is required for the photosynthesis we know that photosynthesis is one of the biological reaction uh, required the sunlight it is a endergonic reaction without the sunlight the photosynthesis uh, can't occur within the uh, plants photosynthesis for the photosynthesis light is a free requisite uh, there are other raw materials which are also required for the photosynthesis namely carbon dioxide and water and different pigments uh, which are present within the plant cell light is necessary for the photosynthesis without night without light uh, there is no photosynthesis light consists of these uh, seven different colored light rays out of the seven different colored light rays Uh, the red colored light rays and uh, the blue colored light rays the the violet colored light rays are absorbed by the green plants for the photosynthesis uh, to 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 conclude this or to understand this uh, in between the prism and the source of the light they have put uh, the conical uh, the small test tube containing the plant extract you have to take the plant extract in the test tube okay plant extract plant extract the source of the light the source of light source of light when you will pass in to the test tube containing a plant extract a beam of a visible light rays visible light rays and again the light rays comes out of the test tube and again they fall they enter into the they fall on the surface of the prism they enter into the prism and now this time what happens in place of the red colored light rays a uh, very dark dark thick colored uh, rays comes out in place of the violet and the blue somewhat thin dark Uh, colored the light rays comes out from this experiment it is possible for us to conclude that blue colored violet colored then uh, the red colored light rays are uh, responsible for the photosynthesis this means that again a question arises in our mind uh, the spectroscopic analysis Uh, uh, spectroscopic analysis or a spectroscopic study revealed 
revealed that uh, that is, there is an absorption spectrum and action spectrum the absorption uh, spectrum uh, means what violet colored and blue colored light rays are absorbed for the photosynthesis this is termed as absorption spectrum and uh, particular means what uh, amount of uh, amount of uh, the light rays amount of the light rays which are utilized for the photosynthesis is termed as a absorption spectrum absorption spectrum amount of uh, uh, amount of the light rays namely the violet and blue and red colored light rays absorbed and are utilized for the photosynthesis can be termed as a absorption spectrum on the other hand action spectrum action spectrum is the one in which blue and red colored light rays are utilized for the photosynthesis utilized the amount of light rays absorbed by the plants termed as the absorption spectrum. Here, the red and blue and violet colored light rays, especially blue and red colored light rays are absorbed, mostly absorbed and mostly utilized for the photosynthesis termed as the action spectrum, action spectrum. So this, uh, the bioenergetics, bioenergetics, is a branch of the biological science it deals with the energy transduction energy transduction energy changes in a different uh, the metabolic reactions metabolic activities of the uh, plant cell or the animal cell plants uh, uh, plants uh, undergo uh, plants actually uh, synthesize their own food material in presence of a solar radiant energy. This means that they convert the solar radiant energy into a chemical energy that it is uh, locked up in the carbohydrates or any other uh, the food molecules which are synth synthesized within the plant within the plant cell. It is the conversion of the solar radiant energy into a chemical energy can also be termed as a photosynthesis. The f during a photosynthesis plants are absorbing the the plants absorb the photo uh, absorb the solar radiant energy only recently the man he has uh, invented the solar cells uh, these solar cells also catch the solar radiant energy and convert the solar radiant energy into a, another form of the energy known as the electric energy or a heat energy like that. Only recently man has uh, discovered or invented the solar cells, solar cells. But our plants doing this, that is they after the absorption of the solar radiant energy the plants absorbing a solar radiant energy and converting the same into chemical energy since the time immemorial billions years ago so this is the bioenergetics which gives us an idea about the energy transduction means what energy transduction Earlier, I quoted that ATP molecules are formed inside the uh, plant body or also inside the animals. Animals. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate molecules. Adenosine triphosphate molecules. Adenine linked to the ribose sugar and this ribose sugar for this ribose sugar the three phosphate molecules are attached this is the atp suppose that this is this is the adenine to this particular adenine 
द रईबोज सुगर द रईबोज सुगर रईबोज सुगर इज अटैच टू दिस पर्टिक्युलर रईबोज सुगर पॉस्पेट मलकुल्स पॉस्पेट मलकुल्स द थ्री पॉस्पेट मलकुल्स आर अटैच मलकुल्स आर अटैच दिस इज एक्चुअली this is actually the that is uh the adenosine triphosphate molecule adenosine triphosphate molecule is not only synthesized uh, within the plant cell or animal cell bioenergetics energy transfection within the living organism there are a number of other molecules are also synthesized and are uh, again reutilized for the other vital functions within the plant body just i am um, giving an idea about atp what is atp number of uh, physiologist they have worked upon the process of the formation of the atp exact mechanism of the uh, process of the formation of the atp molecules atp molecules are formed in three different uh, the processes photophosphorylation oxidative phosphorylation and substrate level phosphorylation these are the three different uh, the reactions these are the three different uh, uh, the bio biological reactions during these reactions the atp molecules are formed atp molecules are formed example photophosphorylation photo phospho photo phospho relation photo phospho relation oxidative 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 phosphorylation oxidative phosphorylation and lastly substrate level substrate substrate level phosphorylation these are the three important uh, uh, the biological reactions photo phospho photo means what the light the phosphorylation means what addition of the inorganic phosphate addition of the inorganic phosphate to the adp and the formation of atp molecule atp the process of the addition of the inorganic phosphate to the adp and formation of atp can be termed as the photophosphorylation Phot photophosphorylation occur during a photosynthesis within the plant body a photophosphorylation uh, two types of photophosphorylation occur within the plant cell or a bacterial cell um that is cyclic photophosphorylation and uh, non cyclic photophosphorylation it may be the cyclic photophosphorylation or the non cyclic photophosphorylation atp molecules are formed and are generated uh, atp molecules are generated due to the electron transfer from one electron carrier to the another electron carrier from one electron carrier to the electron uh, another electron carrier carrier molecules number of enzymes and uh, the cofactors act as a electron uh, electron carrier molecules they pick up the electron and again they uh, transfer the same electron to the next uh, uh, the electron carrier during the uh, process of during the moment of the electron uh, inorganic atp molecules it is added to the adp that is a adenosine di diphosphate molecules to form a atp molecules so this is uh, one of the uh, one of the source of the generation of the atp molecules within the uh, uh, plant cells or within the uh, uh, biological uh, system then uh, other than this uh, the photophosphorylation uh, other than this the photophosphorylation uh that is the oxidative phosphorylation oxidative phosphorylation only the oxidative phosphorylation 
oxidative phosphorylation is at another uh, the source of the formation of uh, the the source of the atp molecules here uh, the food molecules are oxidized and form a uh, uh, in the atp molecules during a respiration during the respiration it is termed as oxidative phosphorylation then the substrate level phosphorylation substrate the level phosphorylation is also another uh, uh, the source of the formation of the atp during a substrate level uh, of phosphorylation uh, it was the one of the scientist the physiologist mitchell who discovered the oxidative substrate level phosphorylation substrate level phosphorylation uh, within the mitochondria uh, mitochondria are termed as a energy that is the powerhouse of the cells anyhow remember the photophosphorylation oxidative phosphorylation and substrate level phosphorylations are the three different uh, different uh, the biological reactions during which the atp molecules are formed now move to study the photosynthesis 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 it is a building up of simple saccharides with the help of the inorganic raw materials such as carbon dioxide such as gaseous carbon dioxide and liquid water in presence of the sunlight with the help of the pigments number of different pigments and liberation of the oxygen is termed as a photosynthesis co2 h2o sunlight the pigments pigments c6h12 o6 plus oxygen plus water this is the recent equation modern equation of the photosynthesis 6 co2 like that we can uh, equilib equilibrate we can make a we can uh, make it uh, this this is a universal equation 6 so co2 6o2 and 6h2 like that photosynthesis the definition the, the, the word photosynthesis itself gives us an idea photo means what the sunlight synthesis means what building up of it's a building up of simple saccharides with the help of the sunlight it is a building up of the simple saccharides with the help of the gaseous carbon dioxide and a liquid water with the help of the sunlight in presence of the pigments and release of the oxygen and water is termed as the photosynthesis all green plants undergo photosynthesis it is this uh, the photosynthesis which gives the food and energy to each and every living beings which are present upon this planet earth so photosynthesis is one of the very important biological reaction biological reaction it is also called biochemical reaction the exact mechanism of the photosynthesis studied by the use of simple alga known as cnidesmes and chlorella vulgaris 
plant physiologist they have used they have used chlorella chlorella and chlorella vulgaris chlorella vulgaris and cnidesmus 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 these are the unicellular microscopic uh, the alga uh, to confirm the different uh, aspect of the photosynthesis within the laboratory they have experimented upon these plants they have used these two plants as a model organism uh, to study the the mechanism of the photosynthesis there is a lot to understand about the photosynthesis being the degree degree students you have to uh, put a very much a stress to the each and every aspect of the photosynthesis photosynthesis as i already mentioned it is the conversion of the solar radiant energy into chemical energy termed as a photosynthesis you can define photosynthesis uh, in your own way differently during a photosynthesis all green plants they trap they catch up the solar radiant energy and they convert the solar radiant energy into a chemical energy this means that with the help of the solar radiant energy they convert the carbon dioxide water into a carbohydrate so this energy it is locked up in the carbohydrates or the simple saccharides or what it is termed as a food molecule so this is the product of the photosynthesis the saccharide the glucose is a product of the photosynthesis whereas the oxygen is a by product of the photosynthesis so remember photosynthesis is one of the uh, one of the endergonic endergonic it it always require a light it always require the external external source external energy to uh, uh, external energy endergonic uh, oxidation oxidative oxidative and uh, oxidation and reduction reaction this means that during a photosynthesis oxygen is formed as a result of the reduction of the water molecule uh, as a result of the oxidation of the water molecule oxygen is formed and carbon dioxide is reduced to the carbohydrate oxidation reduction reaction carbon dioxide is reduced to form a carbohydrate water molecule it is oxidized to form a oxygen and uh, it is confirmed that whatever the amount whatever the amount of the oxygen which is released during the photosynthesis exclusively it comes from the water molecule and not from the carbon dioxide this is one this is one the universal truth about the photosynthesis another truth is that so amount of uh, oxygen released during the photosynthesis is always equal to the amount of carbon dioxide which is used for the photosynthesis there is a lot to understand about the photosynthesis photosynthesis occur within the plant body uh, because as they contain different uh, the pigments in them these pigments a number of pigments are again confined to the in higher plants confined uh, in a very well organized the cellular organelles known as the chloroplast plastids chloroplast plastids they contain different pigments in them it is these pigments which are responsible for the absorption of the solar radiant energy solar radiant energy these different pigments are uh, again uh, uh, confined on the surface of the granite alloys of the chloroplast plastids chloroplast a uh, plastids plastids are of two uh, three different types chloroplast plastids lycoplast plastids and uh, chromoplast plastids 
Chromoplast plastids are colored plastids are and are usually present uh, in the petals of the flowers. Chloroplast plastids are green in color. Leucoplast plastids are colorless plastids and are usually present in the root cells of the plant. So we are studying about the photosynthesis. Chloroplast plastids are very important. Consider suppose the consider the chloroplast plastids. Chloroplast plastids present chloroplast plastids are present i will show you like this suppose that this is a plant body underground root system and a stem and a leaf and a leaves okay then if you take the section of a, a leaf it reveals the presence of the epidermal layers upper epidermis lower epidermis like that the dicot if it is a dicot plant it reveals the presence of just beneath the upper epidermis the palisade parenchyma tissue palisade parenchyma tissue beneath this the spongy parenchyma spongy parenchymatous tissue and uh, below this uh, the spongy parenchymatous tissue uh, the lower ventral epidermis lower ventral epidermis with uh, the stomata stomata the lower ventral epidermis spongy tissue so if you consider the single plant cell uh, any of the plant cell it reveals the presence of the plastids okay these plastids are biconcave lens shaped in the higher plants these biconcave lens shaped the chloroplast plastids chloroplast plastids they have bounded by enveloped by the two membranes outer membrane and then inner membrane uh, so inside of which there is a stroma region in this stroma region the granum grana are present a single granum single granum shows the presence of number of disc shaped the grana thalakoids on the surface of these grana thalakoids the pigments are present pigments are present so pigments pigments uh, play a very significant role every pigments they have got their own structural formula and molecular formula molecular formula of the chlorophyll a is different b is different c is different like that different pigments chlorophyll pigments are different picobilin pigments are different carotenoid pigments are different carotenols carotenes and xanthophylls together termed as a carotenoid pigments chlorophyll pigments are many types chlorophyll a chlorophyll b chlorophyll c chlorophyll d chlorophyll e like this chlorophyll molecules are different picobilin pigments are different picocyanin picoerythrin picobilin pigments are another group of the pigments photosynthetic pigments and are present in the algae blue green algae red algae okay then uh, carotenoid pigments are present in higher plants carotenins carotenols otherwise also termed as the xanthophyll molecules number of different uh, the chlorophyll molecules the xanthophyll molecules carotenoid pigments involve in higher plants uh, for the absorption of the solar radiant energy during the photosynthesis when the sunlight is available to them in order to understand the exact mechanism of the photosynthesis let's uh, move to study the Re required raw materials 
what are the raw materials which are required for the photosynthesis what are the raw materials required for the photosynthesis carbon dioxide water sunlight and pigments these are the cheap the raw materials required for the photosynthesis to occur within the plant cell uh, almost all these different uh, the raw materials very much essentially required for the photosynthesis um i i i am intended to stop here and i shall continue in the other class uh, to continue the study of the mechanism of the photosynthesis before to study the mechanism of the photosynthesis what is required um that is the different pigments the structure of the chloroplast plaster and uh, uh, other aspect uh, thanks for watching this uh, the video class i shall continue with uh, the other aspect of the photosynthesis in another class